Now, keep in mind that the permutations we have been addressing so far are arrangements of distinct items. That's part of the definition of a permutation. And distinct items are items in which we can tell one item from another. So, for example, if we were to line up a series of different bottles of beer on a shelf, we can tell all the different arrangements. However, if some or all of the bottles of beer were the same, we can't tell one arrangement from another because they look alike. These would be considered non-distinct items, and since non-distinct items do exist, they have to be addressed when applying a permutation. And that's what this example does. We are addressing the permutations of non-distinct items. So here we have this series of names here or words here, and the example asks, determine the number of permutations of the letters in the words in our first one here, Antarctica. And as you look at Antarctica here, we want to rearrange these letters as many ways as we can. But you can see here we have these repeats. We got an A and an A and an A. And then we have, here's a T and a T. And then we have these C's and C's. So if I was to go ahead and rearrange some of those letters, the rearrangements of the A's or the T's or the C's are not going to be distinct. So the way we address this, I'm just going to put A right here, is... First, we determine how many different ways we can arrange these letters. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letters in the uh, in the name Antarctica. So there are ten factorial different ways to rearrange those letters. However, I want distinct arrangements where I can tell one arrangement from the other. So I'm going to address those repeats in here. So since I have one, two, three A's. I'm going to factor out three factorial, or we divide out three factorial A's. I have one, two repeats of T, so that's going to be two factorial. And three factorial, two factorial means three factorial times two factorial. And then, of course, we have these repeats of the C's here, so that's another two factorial. So then this becomes 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, times 6, times 5, times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. That's how many arrangements of the letters there are. But the number of distinct arrangements, we then factor out the repeat. So I have 3 times 2 times 1, times 2 times 1, times 2 times 1. And then, of course, factors in the denominator will cancel out common factors in the numerator. So I have 3, 2, 1 right here, 3, 2, 1, 2 times 1 times 2 times 1, that's 4, so that'll take out a 4. So I have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 different arrangements, and that comes out to be 151,200 different arrangements, distinct arrangements, of the letters in the uh, word Antarctica. It's the same approach that we have for letter B here for statistics. So B, statistics has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letters again. So there's going to be ten factorial different ways of arranging the letters. However, we have these repeats here. You can see the S's here. We've got one, two, three S's. So I'm going to do three factorial. Then I've got one, two, three T's, so we'll do three factorial again. And then we've got one and then two I's, so then we have to address the two factorial. So again, this is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, 4, 3, 2, and then 1. And then 3 times 2 times 1, that's our 3 factorial, times 3 times 2 times 1, that's our other 3 factorial, times 2 times 1. Now when I uh, do my canceling here, I like to make sure that when I cancel, all the values in the denominator are removed. So if we look right here, I've got 3 times 3, that's 9, I'll take out the 9. 2 times 1 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 1, that's 2 times 2 times 2. Well, that's 8. And you can go ahead and always cancel out the 1 there. 
So now I have 10 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. And that comes out to be 50,400. And we continue. Here's C, the word suitcase. Suitcase has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's 8 factorial arrangements of the letters. But the number of distinct arrangements, well, we have 1, 2 S's, and I think that's all there is. So we'll just factor out the 2. 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And hopefully you can see it here, times 2 times 1. Certainly that'll go, and that'll go. So then 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 comes out to be 20,160. For D, the word Pilates, if you look carefully, there are no non-distinct letters in Pilates. They're all different. So how many different arrangements can I make of the letters Pilates? Well, that'll be simply 7 factorial. I don't have to worry about factoring out any repeats. And of course, 7 factorial is 5,040. E for the word binoculars. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 factorial arrangements of the letters in binoculars. And if you notice, again, all those letters are distinct. There are no repeats. We do not have any non-distinct. So the number of distinct arrangements of the letters in the words binoculars is simply 10 factorial. And of course, 10 factorial, that's 3,628,800. And finally, for F, the word trampolines, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 factorial. So there's 11 factorial arrangements of the letters in the word trampolines, and if you notice, there are no repeat letters. So every letter is distinct. So how many arrangements of the letters in the word trampolines? That'll be simply 11 factorial. And 11 factorial, that's 39,916,800 different ways, distinct ways of being able to arrange the letters in the word trampolines.